Hi, everyone. Today is September the 30th, 2020. So it is 2020. The year is 2020. And it's the ninth month of 2020. It's September of 2020. And it is the 30th day of September. So it's the 30th day of the ninth month of the year 2020. It is September 30th, 2020. So today is September 30th. And how are you today? How are you today? How do you feel? Are you happy today? Are you happy today? Or are you sad today? Are you sad today? Or are you angry today? Are you angry today? Well, today I am feeling a little bit sad and a little bit angry. So why? Why am I a little bit sad and a little bit angry today? Well, yesterday, yesterday, on the 29th, um, yesterday something happened. So today is September the 30th, and yesterday, on Tuesday, um, yesterday was September 29th. So today is Wednesday, September the 30th, and yesterday was Tuesday, September the 29th. So yesterday, Tuesday, September the 29th, yesterday, uh, something happened. Something happened. So now today, I am feeling a little bit sad and a little bit angry about it. So what happened? What happened yesterday? What happened on Tuesday, September the 29th? Well, I was going to make a video. I was going to record a video, but my video camera, this is a video camera I use. This camera stopped working properly. So what happened to it? Well, let me show you. Let me try to show you. So I'll open the back here, there, and I will put this battery in. So let me put the battery in. I think that's the right way. Um, let me close it, close the back, and I will turn it on. So I open this part to turn it on. There, so it turns on, but this is the screen. The screen does not go on. So the camera goes on, the camera turns on, but the screen is not working. Let me see if I turn it, if I turn it, will the screen work? No, let me try again. So I will close this, turn off the camera, and I will open it again. And the screen does not work. So the screen does not go on. So this camera is not working. Um, this part works. So I can press the button here. I can press this button and start recording a video. There, so it started recording. So I can record, but this screen has nothing on it. I can't see anything on the screen. I can't see anything on the screen. So I can't use this. I can't use the screen. I can't see what I'm recording. And also the screen has buttons. It's a touch screen. So I can't, I can't touch the buttons. I can't see them. I can't see them and I can't touch the buttons to use it. Um, so I can't use this camera now. It's broken or it's not working. So that's why I was feeling a little bit sad and a little bit angry, and I still am feeling that way today. Uh, so that's this is annoying, it's frustrating. This camera is not working. So right now for this video, to record this video, let me show you with this mirror. I am using this camera, this webcam, to record this video. 
So instead of this video camera, because this video camera does not work, I am using this webcam to record this video. So before, before, when this camera worked, I would have it on the tripod I use. There's a tripod, and then there's a boom, and the camera was on the boom, so it was looking down like this. And here is my desk. So this is my desk, my desk here, and things like this, this whiteboard on the desk. So with this camera, I could record what I have on the desk. And now, so now, because this camera is not working, I'm using this webcam instead, this, this webcam to record. So instead of this camera, instead of this camera, I'm using a webcam to record instead. So here I have a tripod and then there's a boom that's attached to the tripod. And then instead, now I'm using a webcam. I'm using this webcam instead of this video camera to record what's on here on my desk. So I'm using a webcam instead. Um, this camera, this camera is pretty old now. It's seven years old. So uh, this year, this year is 2020. So this year, this month, it's September of 2020. And I got this camera seven years ago, back in 2013. So I bought this camera in 2013, and I paid about $400, somewhere around $400 for this camera. So it cost about $400, but I bought it seven years ago, back in 2013. So now it is seven years old, or more than seven years old, so it's more than seven years old now. And mm, this camera, back when it was working, um, I liked this camera. I liked this camera. What did I like about this camera? Well, one thing, one thing I liked is that it is waterproof. So it says here, waterproof. It says here, waterproof. Uh, what does waterproof mean? Well, that means that here's some water. I can use the camera under the water. So I can use this camera, or I could use this camera before when it worked. I could use it underwater. Um, and it says waterproof down to 10 meters. So I could bring it under the water up to 10 meters below the surface of the water. And so anywhere from here to 10 meters below the surface of the water, 10 meters underwater, was okay. But um, I guess more than 10 meters would not be okay. So it was okay to use this camera up to 10 meters under the water, below the surface of the water. So I used it to take pictures and record videos underwater. Um, for example, I went snorkeling. So there's, there's a snorkel there. Here's me wearing it. And I used the camera and I could record videos. I could record videos under the water, under the water of things like fish, fish swimming underwater, fish swimming past me under the water. Here are some pictures from the video that I recorded underwater. In this picture, you can see there are a few fish. There's one fish, two fish, three fish, four fish. This fish is swimming closer to the camera, and these fish are further away. Here's another picture. Here are two fish swimming very close to the camera, and there are other fish here, many fish over here and over here, swimming further away from the camera. And then here is me. So this is a picture of me from the video. So this is a selfie of me. 
This is the mask I was wearing. This is the snorkel that I was using. And here is a fish. It looks like this fish is going to swim in front of me, swim past me. And then here is another fish. It looks like this fish just swam past me. So there is a picture of me with some fish. So these are pictures from the video that I recorded underwater. So I could record videos underwater because this camera is waterproof. I could use it under the water down to a depth of 10 meters, which is pretty deep. So I could use it under the water. And also, um, it says also it's freeze proof. So water freezes at zero degrees Celsius. So here's some ice. So water turns into ice at zero degrees Celsius. And it says this camera is freeze proof down to minus 10 degrees Celsius. So this camera is okay um, anywhere down to minus 10 degrees Celsius. So that's okay. If, if it's colder, if it's colder than minus 10 degrees Celsius, um, then maybe that will damage the camera. But this camera is freeze proof. It says it is okay down to a temperature of minus 10 degrees Celsius. So it is waterproof and it's freeze proof. And it's also, it says here that it is also shock proof. So what does shock proof mean? Well, shock proof means that um, if you drop it, if I drop it, um, it says if I drop it and it hits the ground, if there's a shock, a shock to the camera like that, if it hits the ground um, from up to 1.5 meters, then I guess that means it should be okay. So it's okay if it falls from up to 1.5 meters down to the ground and hits the ground, then it should be okay. But if, I guess if it falls from more than 1.5 meters, if it falls from more than 1.5 meters down to the ground, then I guess it is not okay. It might be it might be damaged or something. But it says it's shockproof from up to 1.5 meters. So if it falls from less than 1.5 meters, then that's okay. So it says this camera is waterproof and it is freeze proof and it is shockproof. And also, oh, it says it is dust proof. So some things, for example, oh, this other whiteboard, this other whiteboard has lots of dust on it. So I guess it's safe from dust. This, this has been sitting a long time. So this whiteboard has dust all over it. So I guess this is also dust proof. So it's, it's safe from dust like this. It's safe from dust like this. So it says it is waterproof, it is shockproof, it is freeze proof, and it is dust proof, apparently, as well. So I liked this camera, but now, now it is not working. So why is it not working? Why is the screen not working? Um, well, there must be a problem with the connection here. So there must be a problem here because this part, this part is okay. This part seems to be working, but the screen is not showing anything. I can't see anything on the screen. So maybe this part has to be fixed. So one thing I could do is see about getting this fixed. Maybe I can get the connection fixed between the screen and the rest of the camera. Um, but, but, it might be expensive. It might be expensive. It might be expensive. It might cost a lot of money to get this camera fixed. So maybe it's better to buy a new camera. So maybe it's better to get rid of this camera, get rid of this camera, and buy a new camera. So this camera is old. This camera is from 2013, so it's pretty old. Maybe I should just buy a new camera, a camera from from this year, maybe 2020, or a camera from last year. 
So maybe I should get rid of this camera, get rid of this camera from 2013 and buy a new camera from this year or from last year. So if it's too expensive, if it's very expensive to fix this camera, then maybe I will just get a new camera. But for now, because this camera is not working, I will just use, let me show you in the mirror again. So I will just use this webcam to record videos like this. So again, I can use the webcam. I can use this webcam and record things like this. So here's, oh, not this camera. Before I used this camera, but uh, now I have the webcam the webcam on the boom, which is attached to a tripod, and it's pointing down at my desk and at uh, the whiteboard and things like this. So it's recording what's on my desk. There's my desk. And so now I can use this uh, webcam that, that I have. I can use the webcam to record instead of this camera. So I might try to fix this camera, might, I might try to get it fixed, but if it's too expensive, if it's too expensive, I'll get rid of this camera, this old camera from 2013 and buy a new camera, a camera from this year, 2020, or from last year, 2019. Hi again, everyone. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked this video, please click or press the like button to like it. And please click or press the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. Also, click or press the bell to see new videos like this one. Also, please share this channel with other people who you think will like it too.